so happy today again that we are here in this space together so we want to welcome all of you and i'm back with my dear friend ambrin ambrin it's always a pleasure to have you here on that podcast thank you thank so you so much yeah thank you so much for you know having me on the podcast and uh, you know already that how much i enjoy uh, our conversation and our discussion so it's it's a pleasure and an honor to be here thank you so much yes and obviously we are all about what is actually happening what are the vital signs what are the voices and we talk about your son today we bring him back in he's a beautiful voice of a new earth of a new way of thinking but today we want to really address that most of us feel kind of in turbulent times we feel in chaos we feel challenged and in the midst of that, as we know, there's always a blessing. So we're going to use that opportunity to explore together today what is triggered in the midst of all of that. And we call it the superpowers. Yeah, so absolutely. I want to ask you about that. The superpowers. Yeah. Thank you so much for actually uh, asking such a beautiful question because... <clears throat> As like we, we spoke earlier, just uh, like before our, this discussion, that how everyone is facing a challenging time, a turbulent time these days. And maybe it's an indication that we are moving to uh, another like uh, phase of the earth where it could be better or worse, whatever. Like we define yeah, that what it could be. But these turbulent times are always there to teach us a lesson right and when we learn from that those times it basically uh it turns into our strength or it or i would say we may be able to actually realize our superpowers because of these chaotic times whatever is happening around us even in like uh, not on the macro level even at the micro level people are in their lives struggling with some kind of challenges in their life so I think that's that's one step that can lead us to unleash our superpowers. And those superpowers are, I mean, you know, which which we have forgotten, I, I would say. Like we already have within us. We just need to remember that we are much more than that. We are not just, uh, I would say, the physical being. We are a spiritual being. And we are much more than what we think we are. Like we, God has given us so much power. I mean, even if we look back at the things, like how people have evolved, I mean. And, and it's time for us to evolve even further. I know that technology uh, is, is emerging very fast and it's changing rapidly, like AI and everything. So I think because of all this, we will have, more time to connect with ourselves and to explore our own powers and to develop those superpowers. Yeah, I just love, love, love how you say that, you know, because in turbulent times and chaos, it's a cycle. If something breaks, yeah. we get turbulence and chaos, but the old needs to break. And if we look in yes. all traditions and what comes to mind for me at the moment is the runes. The runes is a is um, signs and symbols from the northern part of the world, right? So, mm -hmm. so Sweden, Finland, all up there. And they have three distinct ways. They have the creation, they have the destruction, and they have the rebirth. Yes. And, yes. you know, this is just so beautiful to see that in the midst of all of that, we have an opportunity. There's a lesson to learn what is our superpowers. And, you know, I'm also a big fan of Rumi and, and we yeah. put a card the other day. And, and, and for me, I'm still marveling in that magic. Yeah. So he was alerting us to see the jewels, the treasures that we truly have. He was saying we can't see it. And what we can't see is the superpowers. And maybe in the old times, we couldn't. So with this destruction, deconstruction, we are actually able to connect to our superpowers. And I love how you link it with the technology. <laughs> Let the technology do what it does. I feel it gives us as humans another opportunity to evolve, to emerge into a higher consciousness, into a higher way of living. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, I mean, these are uh, very interesting times, uh, I would say, the way we are evolving, the way we are, I mean, at one time, uh, but it's, it's, I would say that it's the time that it's, it, it, it is interesting because those who want to evolve will really attain all these powers, but those who would be stuck and who would refuse to grow, unfortunately, they will be the ones who will suffer the most. So I think it's it's at the time, like one needs to be on the toes. I think that is the reason why it is uh, so much turbulence in the air, because uh, it's the time to actually let go of the old and to relearn something that is going to come. And uh, it's, it's very important that we need to like go to the higher consciousness level we also learn what's happening around us like as i said that you know technology and because we need to survive also it's not that only like uh we we need to go to the higher consciousness level as well but at certain level we need to survive in the physical level as well <laughs> so i think that's that's the very that's why it's very very interesting that we need to cope up with the every level the the physical level the spiritual level the mental level the consciousness level whatever like you could say so i think and that's that's the concept i think that's that you also speak about that's the concept of the new earth because the old earth must give way to the new work with world or new earth because the old ways must actually i would say die in order to give a rebirth to the new ways, the new rules, or the new, uh, uh, I would say the new powers that we need to get accustomed to. Exactly. I just love how you say that. And, you know, Amrin, I really feel, and of course we talk to the audience as well, I really feel this time of breaking is breaking the focus on only the physical experience. And we've been homo sapiens, men and women of the mind. And in many traditions, and I love it, we talk about the shift to homo luminous. So oh, yeah. for me, that means that we're actually no longer only considering the physical, but that we become whole and make that connection between the physical, which includes the emotions and the mind, but also the spiritual. And we are no longer separated. The spiritual is, of course, the soul. It's the heart. For me, the heart is that place where it meets so we can open up. And for me, it's a time to come together. So we lift in separation. And yes, that needs to break in order to come back together. Yeah. And as you said, some people will choose to do that. And some people want to hold on to that physical experience the beginning and the end of it when actually we are here to also experience infinity of course the life and this is also beautiful that you say it, we need to live yeah. so at this moment in time even if we have already moved towards new earth we still need to pay our bills whether it's a mortgage or, yeah. rent or the, the bill for the for the internet mm -hmm. or whatever we are doing as long as we have bills, of course, we need incomes to, to pay for them. So it's not living in spiritual la-la land. Yes, absolutely. And I feel this is where really the superpowers come in. Now, Ambrin, I, I have a question for you. Sure. What do you feel are important superpowers that maybe everyone has in their unique way? Because I feel that's also important. Superpowers yeah. can be a thing but everybody has a unique part in this. They have their unique Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I love this question. And, you know, I'm glad that you asked. Uh, first of all, we need to define that what exactly superpowers are, right? So uh, in my opinion, first of all, is that the su superpowers are something, I would say, which they have not explored it yet. And they, are ex they can be so excelled in that kind of talent or ability that no, they, they can stand out, right? And for me, the one superpower that I think we all need and we all must have is uh, the 
I would say actually, I don't know, I should how to say it. It's basically like kind of two, I would say, that, or maybe the one, and then it can uh, do it further. So let me try to explain. So the first superpower is that I feel that we have is our energy, right? A soul, I would say, the, the energy that creates vibration. That's it. So that is one thing because everything in the universe is vibration and energy. So one needs to know that this is their superpower, that we are, as I mentioned it, like even in my book, current book also, that we are not just the physical being, we are energy, right? And we have that kind of, and when we talk about the energy and vibration, that means that every single um, thing in the universe has a distinct vibration frequency, right? And that is exactly what each one of us has that superpower, right? That distinct frequency, that distinct vibration, that is their superpower. Okay, so now this is one thing that's, that you would say, okay, like we have the um, energy, we have the vibration. So what is the superpower? So the superpower is that that vibration or that energy helps us to connect with every other thing right with the universe with the people with so if we know the exact energy the exact vibration with which we can connect with and uh, with anything that becomes our superpower so like for example if we know if i know that i this is my vibration or this is my frequency and then i don't need anything else to connect like I would say no gadget, no technology, no nothing. It's just my mind power to connect with anything in this universe, be it knowledge, be it um, people, be it anything in this possible or or the, or the I would say the highest form that one can connect is with God because that is what something that we all is long for because in this, we have been here, we are here in this, world maybe like we feel that we are separate from the god but we are actually not and that we are still part of it and we are longing to you know to connect with the god and that that connection can only be achieved through that by realizing that we are energy and we have that vibration vibrational frequency and when we discover this and then you know then you need to then then when you connect with God or with universe or whatever, like you can say, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say, because, you know, like a lot of people may not believe in the God, but you can say, but there is oneness there in the universe, which connects every one of us. So that is something that, that connects us, you know? So, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm able to explain it well or not, but this is kind of my concept that, you know, this, is the like the energy the the vibrational frequency connects everyone with us and that's that's our superpower i believe uh, absolutely wonderful i i really really love it and i resonate with it of course i have different words yeah but what you're saying is the same as the concept or the understanding or whatever we want to call it that i have mm -hmm. we are all frequency we are all yeah. connected we are yeah. all unique. Yeah. And the concept of God, it doesn't really matter because yeah. it's, it's, it's also a concept, but it's the frequency of creation, yes. the frequency of the yeah. highest of the highest. It's divine. It's whatever. And yeah. we are not separated. And this is the biggest illusion I feel that humanity was yeah. under, that we are separated. How can you be separated from where you come from? yeah absolutely not and so what i feel what 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 also brings that superpower is that awakening to understanding we are connected and we are of that frequency of god universe source whatever yeah, whatever absolutely and i feel with that we become creators of the divine we are no longer yeah stuck in the mind that just wants 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 that is driven yes. by ego and of course this is where i come into the heart and this is where i love when the mind falls into the heart it's not the the mind that is bad it's not that yes the mind falls into the heart 
then we can use the mind in that way because now we can really capture that frequency and be creators and co-creators of that new earth. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And this is exactly the same what you're saying. And I agree with you. This is the biggest superpower that we actually have. Remembering we are yeah. a unique frequency of the divine. Never yes. separated. Yeah. We can't be separated. That was the biggest yeah. illusion that, that humanity was under. And so yeah. when our divine frequency meets the divine, whatever we're going to call it, yeah. then we actually start creating together and then we can create a new earth. And then new yes. earth comes about. Yes, yes. That, then we unlock everything because, you know, for example, when we connect with the, uh, with the universe or divine, like we access all the information, we access connection to the people, we access connection to everything. And that's exactly what I feel that one at this moment needs to know that, you know, we we need to increase our vibrational frequency. We need to break free from our old, like physical being. And as you said, like, you know, that limited, that you know, uh, confined us in one kind of way. Like we need to go beyond what we have experienced so far. Exactly. And it's going beyond the physical limitation and beyond yeah. the rational and linear. That's not all of the mind, by the way, as we Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, you know, I feel, I feel like you, this is just so important. And maybe this is that time of awakening. This is the true awakening of remembering who we truly are and who we truly connected. And of course, in that vibration, in that frequency that we're speaking, we're going to live differently because what we're creating is a contribution, is a design that makes all of us more elevated, that gives all of us an opportunity to really express ourselves, to dream our dreams into being without harming anyone, without taking anything from anyone, yeah. living in harmony yeah. with nature and the universe. It's not so difficult. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, it gets difficult because when people still think in their limited way of like, you know, as you said, the linear rationality and the like, and that's why like, you know, when I was, and I actually started working on my second book that, you know, we need to unleash our superpowers beyond space and time because we need to think beyond all these, these limitations, which we feel that, you know, that restrict us. When we think beyond this, only then we will be able to, you know, reclaim our superpowers. It's really interesting how we are always in sync. So that first book of mine, <laughs> is, that first book of mine that's going to come out definitely this yeah. year. It's actually Access Point Heart, and it's called Unplugging. Okay. So it wow. means, first of all, we need to unplug from all of these old limitations. Yeah. And it's a Absolutely. series. The second part is Unlocking, which is more wow. in the direction of your unleashing. <laughs> and the third wow. part will be Unifying. Wow. <laughs> yes, that would be So that synchronicity is really important. And that also brings me one of the old things, you know, we're programmed. And one of the things that programmed us is obviously education. So I yeah. want to talk a little bit about your lovely son, Sam. Yeah. Sorry. I yeah. can't keep his name yet. Yeah, Zareem. Zareem. Yeah. Who says this system of education needs to be <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He always, the, the thing is that it started doing this, that he actually keeps on, like, I would say that keeps on, like, eating my head. <laughs> you know, he said that <laughs> this education system is bad, the schools are bad, and it's flawed. And, you know, basically, he said, like, you keep on, uh, it's like we, we are studying something which is, like, which is old because the way... Uh, 
the, everything has changed, they need to keep up because when teachers uh, teach them about the, like, the planets and solar system and something, so he already knows a lot more from like the, of course, from YouTube, from in Google, from internet. You know, like he, when, uh, for example, when he was discussing the solar system in the class, and now my son was telling me that there was another, like, you know, another galaxy and there's another planet, which is very much similar to the Earth. And, you know, so this kind of information that actually fascinates these kids these days, not that, like, you know, on like these nine planets that we've been uh, studying also. So <laughs> this is a... The, the second thing that he always talks about that, you know, he said like it's kind of a, we, he says that like we spend in the school, uh, let's say six to eight hours every day and learning what? I mean, he said that we could do much more in that time. So it's kind of, he, said, he often says it's a kind of a waste of time. I said like, no, no, not waste of time. You do learn something. So, but he says like, you know, we, we could do a lot more in that time. It should be like maybe a shortened, it could be shortened up or maybe they, they need to study something in a different way. And, and one thing that he says that, you know, the the current education system is still 400 year old years old like you know especially in general i mean i think there are some more uh better education system in uh, finland or netherlands or something which they follow a little different maybe they are not 400 year but in general when we say like even in us even in the like entire world what you say is it still the same way which is taught 400 years ago and like and the way we see that technology is evolving the things are evolving it's um it needs to evolve and it it's uh, especially what happens is after covid um what i felt is that you know um in covid during the covid uh kids were given access to uh the gadgets and they were more and when they got access to gadgets they got access to information and as well and, and that's how they actually uh, outrun <laughs> these teachers and education system also i mean prior to that i feel that um still um they were kind of following but after that i feel that all the kids they are more tech savvy they know that where to get the information they know how to do it and the teachers or the system is just still unfortunately working like you know it's a pre-covid time and they're doing the same thing like you know the kind of they're still doing the presentation they're still doing the projects i mean of course projects according to the education system it's more gave them practicality or something but what the kids do usually say they're like you know these kind of projects they're not gonna use it in their lifetime while they're <laughs> spending hours and hours creating this so you know these kind of things are still kind of uh, creates um, uh, more frustration among kids these days. So that's what um, he has also written in the book, the kind of frustration he feels uh, when he was he's confined to the system and he feels kind of a misfit. And it's not only him, there are lots of kids that are like this. We also wanted to talk a lot about um, like he has some ideas at how we want to talk about especially bullying and everything but at the moment we focused <laughs> on education system and some more in a fun way we talk about that how um uh, when kids actually are given um opportunity to explore our knowledge and seek uh, knowledge in their way they can do wonders so that's exactly the talk yeah we talked about in this book yeah, and I really love, you know, that he's nine years old yeah. and he sees the giraffe because he stands out <laughs> in the class and yeah. he was able to write actually a novel at nine years old knowing that one of these systems that are yeah. outdated and limited need to evolve. Yeah. And I feel this is extraordinary. So, of course, it's the family. Also, it's you who spend a lot of time with him the environment is mm -hmm. always crucial. It's not like there is one bad piece somewhere. It is the environment that allows us to evolve. And mm -hmm. I just love how he is evolving and not mm -hmm. only for himself, but that he is able 
to bring evolutionary ideas into the education system. Now, I come out of education, tertiary education, which was more than 10 years part of my life. Um, mm -hmm. And I totally understand that because I was breaking that system when I was in it as a lecturer, you can imagine. Yeah. So I am so pleased to hear that. And this is what it's all about. When we step in our superpowers, we are breaking the limitations we are setting free in an evolutionary way and actually yeah. take things to the next level and i feel that's our main message with the superpowers and yeah. children sometimes have a closer connection to their superpowers and yeah. you and i have many similarities also you grow and we grow in different cultures different parts of the world but we were both kind of crazy kids in that way. We were connected yes. to spirit. We were connected to superpowers. But we, we, we grew in a time where we didn't really, we were quiet about it. We didn't really yeah. have too many people to have this conversation with. I mean, you were lucky. I think your luckiness was, I think you come out of a family who could do palm reading, was it? Yes, yes. Okay, my, my thing was the music and nature. Wow. Yeah. Also worked, you know, yeah. in a way, I feel our generations, we're not exactly the same generation, but we are in that direction. It's I feel the same, yeah. It, we had to kind of figure out a way how to live in it. Yeah. You know? And I feel now the new generation, like your beautiful son, we are, they are able to live their truth from the very early go. And I feel it's so yeah. beautiful. And it shows that superpowers are always there. Yeah. For us, it's more unlearning. Yes. <laughs> we are breaking much more limitations than he does. He he just looks at something and what is this? Yeah, absolutely. So, yes, I am very pleased what we have done again, how dialogue is just taking mm -hmm. us into this amazing frequency and how we have been able to really pinpoint superpowers mm. and so yes i want to leave it here and leave room for more mm. so i'm mm. really thank you so much for coming on again today and I, I would love for you to to say something final something and conclusion that allows us the infinite yeah. and allows yeah. us to see more of superpowers please yeah. uh, Thank you so much. First of all, it was uh, again such a pleasure to be here and to uh, have that dialogue because I always, as I mentioned earlier, also that you know I enjoy our conversation because um, we maybe we are we are maybe like uh, operating on the same frequency level, and when we have that dialogue, I mean we are able to, I mean have some more ideas to that can unveil all the truth and to find more knowledge in the same direction because i think it's all in the frequencies we are in the in the company of the like minded people we we have that kind of energy that you know attracts more whatever we want the like let's say because you also seek the truth in the same way the way i do so like we actually have we send the same signals to the universe to attract the same thing so i really enjoy our conversations. So, okay, so the parting advice I would like to give to the audience is that, you know, these, these as we started this um, uh, show, that these are turbulent times and these are definitely difficult times. And I feel that everybody is facing some kind of heat. And in, these are the times they need to, you know, take these times as a kind of a ground where they can grow further, where they can evolve in a better way. So they need to utilize this time as an opportunity to grow more and not only kind of sink in those time and go deeper instead of going above the ground. They, you don't have to go deeper. You just, you need to evolve, evolve further because these are the times are there for a reason these are meant to you know make make you more like uh 
to give you some lessons of the life where you can develop maybe higher consciousness or higher higher level of or maybe and as i would say that they are there to help you unleash your superpower so use this time wisely and uh, and the, the only way to do it is to seek knowledge and to connect with their own selves i mean there are there is a lot of knowledge available there is a lot of i would say information available consume that information but at the end what in, what is important is that you need to absorb the information with your heart i would say with your intuition uh, unless you do that then you will be lost in the information you know so that's one thing that you, even whatever like the the difficult times whatever the challenging times you are facing first connect with yourself and also seek knowledge because without knowledge um, if you don't upgrade yourself you're going to go down so that's my advice to yeah. all beautiful beautiful as as we both know it's just a pleasure for us to connect to dialogue to explore things as we are of the same frequency in one way you know one would say same soul family whatever yeah. matter but what is coming through is just so incredibly important. And I feel in the midst of really difficult times, it's good to remember we are not alone. We have yes. these superpowers within us. We just need to eye open our eyes to see it. And there's always people around who are supporting us in that and who are for us. I feel we are parting from the way of why into for. Yes, I mean, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And that means it's not only the knowledge that is logical and rational, it's also the hidden knowledge. Yeah. It's the knowledge that mm -hmm. maybe comes from our own heart. Yeah. And from Absolutely. the divine when we open up to our superpowers. So thank you so much again for today, Ambrin. We will do more because we can. And yes. Sending you much love your way to your lovely family, <laughs> to your son, and looking forward for the book lounge. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Okay. Bye.